Simon Epa, a disciple of embattled leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and Amdikano has denied reports that the bank account of the Pro Biafra group was frozen by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI. Epa was reacting to an online interview by a blogger, Kemi Olonloyo, claiming that the FBI frozen the group's account after Kano was offered $10 million to fund the Biafra agitation. She had said Enamdi Kano was offered $10 million to fund him with his Biafra agitation. Sponsors were going to give him $10 million. America has frozen the account. But in a recent broadcast on Enter Biafra Channel 1, EPA refuted reports that the Kano was given money to fund his Biafra agitation. He also described Olon Loyo as very sick and mentally unstable for such a false claim, asking Nigerians to disregard the blogger's lies. EPA, however, revealed that there was a complaint, but it has been settled. This complaint was made by some disgruntled IPO members that led to the group changing its account. The diaspora-based separatists noted that every money in IPO's account is intact and accessible. A report by some unscrupulous individuals claimed that FBI closed IPOP accounts. They claimed that Mazin Abdikano went to collect 10 million US dollars and transferred the money to IPOP's account. And the FBI frozen this account. It is a lie from the pit of hell. And the person that said it, we know she is mentally unstable. But even at that, we will keep the record straight. That was a very big lie from the pit of hell. No account of IPOB has ever been frozen anywhere in the world because there is no need for that. He said, what is your thought about this that has been said? What is your reaction to this present situation? We would like you to drop your thought and reaction via the comment section on this that has been said. As we can see, Simon Epa, a disciple of the embattled leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB and Abdikano has denied reports that the back account of the Pro Biafra group was frozen by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI. What is your talk about this? What is your reaction to this present situation? As we can see, Epa speaks on the FBI freezing IPOB's bank account. He said it is a lie from the pit of hell. No account of the IPOB was ever frozen. What is your reaction to this? I would like you to drop your thoughts in reaction via the comment section on this that has been said. But before we go, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Patricia Johnson reacted to this and said, Kemi, na agent of darkness. Useless old Ashao reporting rubbish. What is your thought about this? Said the lady is useless for reporting rubbish about IPOB. What is your thought about this? Kemi is an agent of darkness. And this darkness is said to be Nigeria, according to what Patricia Johnson have said. What is your reaction to this? You can see people are not happy with what Kemi has report. They said it is useless. And Kemi herself also is a useless person for reporting rubbish about IPOL. What is your thought about this? Elite Space have also reacted to this situation and said all enemies of IPOB will suffer from heart attack. What is your thought about this? We have seen that Kemi is said to be an enemy of IPOB. That is why probably he has reported rubbish about the IPOB. What is your thought about this? And now, this has not gone well with the IPOB members. According to what Simon Epua have said earlier, that all what Kemi have reported about the IPOB account being frozen was a lie. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction to this present situation? I'd like you to drop your thoughts in reaction by the comment section on this that has been said. But let's move forward and see what other people's reactions is concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. 
Guest also reacted to this pen situation and said she is seeking attention of the Fulani Zoo. That is why she has done what she has done. She did what she has done. That is the reason why she did that. She is seeking attention of the Fulani Zoo government appointment. She is one of the Lai Mohammed kick side. That is what guests have said concerning the present situation. That Kemi is one of Lai Mohammed kick side. What is your thought about this? It is obvious that most of the Nigerian leaders are engaged the IPOP and their leader. We have seen what Mazina Bikanu has been facing for some times now, being the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra. He has been in detention for a very long time. We see the way and manner of which he was arrested and repatriated back to Nigeria, of which he was repatriated without due process. It was adopted, looking at the process of which the repatriation passed through, it is called adoption. That is what most Nigerians have said. What is your thought about this? It is obvious that people who are in support of Biafra, who are in support of IPOP, who are always in support of Biafrans, have said that Kemi has reported rubbish about the IPOP. What is your thought about this? It is better you remain silent if you don't know what to report about. That is what people have been saying in their own reaction. What is your thought about this? What is your own thought concerning the present situation? According to what Elliot Space have said earlier, that all enemies of IPOP will suffer from at attack. It is obvious that IPOP has millions of followers and these people are ready to support IPOP to the last. So they don't want to hear anybody going against IPOP. Not even when you are telling lie about IPOP. As we can see, Simon Epa have denied the claim that IPOP in a bank account was frozen. According to him, said none of the IPOP account has been frozen, not even for once in any part of the country of which IPOP has an account. What is your thought about this? A disciple of the embattled leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Simon F. Y. is the disciple we are talking about here. He denied reports that the bank account of the Pro Biafra group was frozen by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI. What is your thought about this? You know, Epa was reacting to an online interview by a blogger, Kemi Olonloyo, who was claiming that FBI has frozen the group's account after Kanu was offered $10 million to fund the Biafra agitation, of which Equa has denied and said, None of the IPOB account was ever frozen. What is your reaction to this? We would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction via the comment section. You can see what is going on in Nigeria. We just hope that all these things will become things of the past in no time. Don't forget that Equa speaks on the Federal Bureau of Investigation freezing IPOB's bank account. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not and I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.